equipment that Diamond Tiara's dad, Filthy Rich, has got the money for. Yep, you're right! Hey there, my little ponies! Uh, howdy, Twilight! What brings you here? I want to ask you something. Are you three gonna come for everything wrong with games ponies played by little Shia Fiam? Uh, no! Sorry, but we are busy playing with the school fillies. We can't come right now! Oh, bummer. Oh well, have fun playing with the school ponies! And... Did you ask them to come react with us? Yes, I did. And unfortunately, they can't come because they're busy playing at the playground. It's okay, Twilight, because we brought three replacements that are like Princess Celestia and Luna. <gasps> oh, I'm reacting, all right. I'm down for it. Well, 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 we are reacting to Little Shy. Ha ha ha. I'm glad that me and my sister are reacting to him again. I know, Luna. I know. So, games ponies play, huh? It's the episode where we welcome the Equestria Games Inspector to the Crystal Empire. Yeah, and instead of Miss Harshwini, we accidentally got Miss Peach Butter. I know this episode occurs during the events of Just for Psychics. Oh yeah, Spike and the CMCs were taking care of our animal pets while we were at the Crystal Empire. Oh boy, I'm ready to react to this video. So let's not waste any more time and get going with this video. So I'm starting the video, so let's go. Twilight takes a few steps, waves, then appears right next to the station. The main six leave with their saddlebags, but arrive empty hoofed. Because who Fame. needs saddlebags? Truly kidnaps an unconscious filly. Mark Mismatch is an omen of what's to come. Crystal Empire, ladies! This is the face of some pony often mistaken for a lady. As if this levitating pony wasn't weird enough, this pony is sitting on an invisible planet. Yeah, that's even more weird. Welcome to the Lens Flare Empire. <laughs> Planning camera symbolizes a move away from Twilight and Cadence's secret hoofshake. This is the last we see of it, and by extension, all that represents Twilight Sparkle. The end is nay. Rarity's horn glows for exactly one frame. A perk of being a unicorn is not having to worry about leaving the oven on. It's a crystal mud bath. Crystal mud bath. Cadence owns a trademark on crystal products, and she's not afraid to apply it to anything and everything. Pinkie Pie! Honestly. No, laughter. <laughs> Your main stylus has the flu and won't be able to make it. All of this could have been avoided had the stylus not been anti-vax. Crystal ponies randomly lose their crystalness. So they're not crystal this anymore. Oblige. Dash's element amulet randomly appears for one shot. Oh, I suddenly Butterfly got my necklace! Without moving her mouth. Book horse reads upside down, implying Princess, Princess Cadence? Cadence is more famous than the main six. Traveler isn't suspicious of ponies promising a too-good-to-be-true tour while also taking her luggage and leading her out of public view. To introduce you to this wonderful kingdom. You'd think kingdom would be a trigger word here. Is something you don't hear every day? Yeah, about that. Wouldn't actual crystal ponies be better welcomers for the Crystal Empire? Using welcoming ringers probably doesn't look very good. Twilight's cutie mark finds itself on yet another pony. Oh wow, first Fluttershy and now arrow. Pinkie Pie! Books? The inspector somehow doesn't hear this. She does! Twilight trots this interior distance in only five seconds. Pinky steals Twilight's lower lip. This skywalk is located on the opposite side of the castle. Blanket crystal filter gives birth to crystal water. Just like normal water, but shinier. Trademark Princess Cadence. Layer and error causes Dash to become the size of her toy. Rainbow Dash forgets how to break, despite having plenty of time to do so. What's the point of checking there? That's where Cadence is. If Miss Harshwini is there, well, then game over, right? Pinkie Pie frequents TV tropes. Oh my, Ms. you really Harshwini did! Miss decides to base her unbiased decision on the account of another pony, even after hearing said pony was mistaken for herself. Harshwini addresses a royal alicorn princess, not with respect, but with blatant rudeness. Meanwhile, in Cloudsdale, Rainbow Dash's traumatizing childhood plays out yet again in another filly's life. Fluttershy's extra nostril. Mirror Twilight is surprised by this continuity mismatch. Oh, Bottom of seats I are still do. Until the plot demands that they have room for a dragon to hide under. We'll still be able to come back here and watch the games when they're played. Surely an event with this much buildup wouldn't be a typical Spike episode, right? A little shy. That's literally the previous f***ing episode. Yeah, about that. 
Dang it, little shy, I lose. Cadence would be so glad to hear that. I'm surprised she knows anything about me at all. We got the wrong pony? I was just treated to the warmest, funnest, most fabulous reception I ever had. Well, it worked out in the end after all. And that was everything wrong with games ponies play. As always, I enjoyed it. I like that. Books joke there, because, you know, you are a bookworm? I sure am, Starlight. I sure am. Wait, that was fun. It's too bad that my little sister can't come, but whatever, she's doing her own thing. I'll be there for the season 3 finale, which is Magical Mystery Cure. Oh yeah, there's just one more episode to go, even how there's only 13 episodes. I don't know why season 3 is the shortest season here, but whatever, I'm down for it. Rainbow Dash, language. Sorry for saying that word, Twilight. I'll be looking forward to watching this with you, Celestia and Luna. Ah, uh, yeah, it's us with the three princesses. And me. Can't forget about me. 